Sure. So first of all, Franklin Pierce, uh, obviously a very talented team, um, and I think they played very well tonight. Um, Compliments Coach Chad where he really had them ready to play, and um, defensively and offensively, uh, very talented team, but obviously we're very well coached too. So um, they were ready to play, jumped on us early, and just never recovered. But um, proud of the way our guys competed, um, fought until the end. Guys like this, who are um, tremendous kids, um, who compete every day. Obviously, I think they showed that even when they had a big deficit. So very proud of our team, very proud of our program, what they accomplished. And um, this doesn't define our season. Though we had a great year after a rough start. Um, what I told the guys was this does not define our season. Um, just a little blip, unfortunately, ends our season. Questions for Jeffrey Atkins? Um, great game. Uh, I know the score wasn't what you would have liked it to be. Uh, but in this regional, you, I, I described you on the, our broadcast as um, a salmon swimming upstream. You just were not going to be denied. You were just going to go take it to the cup every single time. Mm -hmm. Was that your mindset going into this? Is you were more aggressive than I've ever seen. I mean, you're always a very fine player, but you looked a little like you would gotten up to another gear this weekend. Yeah, you know, uh, coach always stresses the fact like you know we want to get into the hole as quickly as possible so you get it, get to the free throw line, get a rhythm. So uh, yeah, so he was stressing me, so. I just wanted to make sure I could get to the free throw line, get fouled, you know, try to start something for our team so we can try to make a comeback. And you, and you said that, uh, or your coach said that this doesn't define your season. When you look back, you've been around for a couple of years and you've seen this team mature right. and, and all of a sudden you've become a regional power, whereas when you started, you know, you were kind of the middle of the pack team at best. Um, wh what uh, do you attribute that success to? Uh, to the players that we have, you know, everybody comes in, we work hard. We do the same stuff every day, so you know, every time that we do, we do it to 100 percent. You know, and it's showing off right now. You know, like you said, we started off rough, but it, it shows like our, our maturity. You know, the players around us, how hard we work. And then, you know, if you would have asked me two years ago if it had been the spot, I don't think I would have said yeah. But you know, we work hard. Quickly, so. these guys have kind of adapted to your style and um, become you know a regional power out of you know what was kind of a, a more of a program at the time. Yeah, well, I don't know if we're regional power yet. Uh, first of all, there's a lot of teams in this region who have had a lot more staying power than us. I think it takes a lot more than just one. You know, I think we had a very good season, but um, that's our goal is to be consistent and be good every year. Obviously, that's going to um, you know be determined here in the future. But um, you know, I don't know if, if we talk about how quickly it was going to happen. Um, I'm not surprised by the results because of good players. Obviously, that's that's why programs win. Um, we have very good players. We have very coachable players. And I think guys like Jeff have improved. You know, Jeff made four threes as a freshman, 14 as a sophomore. Didn't make one tonight, but he made 24 as a junior. So we've had guys really develop and get better, which is a testament to them. Um, but I'm very proud of, proud of the fact of what we've done. But um, you know, obviously, if you want to be um, in this situation next year, there's always more work to do. So. And as far as this game is concerned, did you feel your team was a little bit flat coming out because it looked like Franklin Pierce had some extra energy in the first few minutes and you didn't respond to that with your typical great right. defense. You, I'm not going to say you let them get scores, right. but they seemed to be, you know, kind of, they, they were clicking on all cylinders early on. Right. Yeah, I think that's what happens when people make shots. And we've been a very, very good defensive team. If you look at the numbers, you know, we're um, second in defensive efficiency in the league. Um, you know, we were first in the league in not only field goal percentage, Scoring but also three point field goal percentage as well. So We've done a great job, and then defense and rebounding percentage, we've been second in the league just with the numbers. So we've been an elite level defensive team, especially these last uh, 23 games, not including this one. Um, so it was surprising when teams make shots, but we usually can weather the storm. It just wasn't weather today. They just continue to make shots. And um, you know what they're good at is making two pointers, they're the best in the league at it, and what we're good at is taking away two pointers. Uh, just so happened that the, the people that were taking the shots were a little bit better than our defense. Any final questions?